is he? Mr. Darcy would have far too high a respect for his father's wishes to behave in such an unchristian way. And Lizzie, consider. How could his most intimate friends be so deceived in him? I could more easily imagine Mr. Bingley being opposed upon than to think that Mr. Wickham could invent such a history. It gave me all the circumstances, Jane. Names, facts, and everything without ceremony. If it isn't so, let Mr. Darcy contradict it. Besides, there was truth in all his looks. It is difficult indeed. It is distressing. One doesn't know what to think. I beg your pardon. One knows exactly what to think. This will be a compliment to you, Jane, you know. I think it no sacrifice to join occasionally in evening engagements. Society has claims on us all. Mr. Collins, would you think it proper to join in such an evening's entertainment? Would your bishop approve? I am by no means of the opinion that a ball of this kind, given by a young man of character to respectable people, can have any evil tendency. In fact, I am so far from objecting to dancing myself that I shall hope to be honoured with the hands of all my fair cousins in the course of the evening. And I take this opportunity of soliciting yours, Miss Elizabeth, for the first two dances. <laughs> <laughs> Until Tuesday, there is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. If it stopped raining, we could at least walk to Meryton. But it will not. If we go downstairs, there will be Lydia and Kitty complaining of the rain. And so no walks, no news, no aunt, and no officers. <laughs> <laughs>